Well, good evening and welcome. Very recently, myself and Angie Sutherland went to the Olympia. We were sent by Brian Daly and Dave. They were afraid to go to the Olympia to see when Joe Dolan's, the night Joe Dolan's car broke down. Now, we went for a specific reason. That was to interview John O'Grady, who has his own show. Jo uh, John, of course, is the show star, absolute star of the night Joe Dolan's car broke down. Uh, but jo John has his own show coming up on the 1st of November and I think on the 20th of October in Mullingar. So myself and Angie went along, Angie was on the camera and she was on the sound. So if the sound's bad, blame Angie Sutherland, right? So that's it. We had a chat with John and he brought us on a tour of the Olympia. Take a look at this. Phil Gilbride's in it as well. Well, here we are at the the Olympia Theatre in Dublin, and uh, I can't say what we were just saying. It was just it wasn't rude, <laughs> but it wasn't fit for public broadcast. But I'm joined with two of the the stars of the night Joe Dolan's car broke down. He's still thinking about that joke, Phil, aren't you? Oh yeah, well, <laughs> wonderful. Tell him, go on, tell him for the crack. Go on. <laughs> <You're> after. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roger Karkoff. These are two of the stars of The Night Joe Dolan's Car Broke Down, and as you can see, we're having a ball here. we just seen the show, and it was absolutely fantastic. I'm joined by Phil Gabride and John O'Grady. And F Phil, we'll talk about your character first. Tell us a bit about it. What part do you play? Uh, I'm Barney, the barman, who's uh, flirting with the women and oh. uh, shagging two of them. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and gets caught. I like him already. Gets a slap in the jaw. <laughs> I know, it's good crack, it's a good part, uh, and it's brilliant here in the Olympia, don't it? And it's going, Great audience. It's going fantastic. It's fantastic. This is, our, uh, this is our third time here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah third time in the Olympia, yeah. So we have done four shows. This is our, this is our Saturn and matinee, and we've got another show in a couple of hours at 8 o'clock, and then we've got a break till Tuesday, and then we're back from Tuesday to Saturday again. Another seven and shows. for people that haven't seen it, a lot of people have said to me, uh, the night Joe Dolan's car broke down, they think it's like a Joe show. Yeah, it, it is and it isn't. I mean, it is a show within a show. There's Joe is in there and yeah. there's a few Joe songs, songs, but I mean, there is a play there as well. Yes, um, yeah, yeah. Port McIntyre very cleverly wrote it. Yeah, it is clever. It's very, 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 very funny. I yeah. have to admit, I was, uh, and the audiences love it. I mean, you can see the reaction there today. I mean, yeah. it's fantastic. Standing ovation every night. And here we are in Dublin and the, the play is in Cavanese. <laughs> and they oh, understood it. Kiaven. 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 Yeah, there's, there's, you get to have a bit of taste of what went on at a yeah. Joe Dolan concert, you know. They're with crazy. Joe. And uh, with, with the show when it started, right, when it first went out, did you have to get permission? Yeah, yeah. From they, the they, Dolan well, family? Like, they, you know. they ran it past them. Yes, you know, yeah, they yeah. thought it'd be good manners and good courtesy to, to contact them. And invited Ben and the family to the show in Virginia when it first ran, and they gave us the blessing, you know. It was a bit emotional for them in the beginning, you know, but... They came and seen it in Virginia and uh, loved it. We got to meet them all afterwards, had Fantastic. a pint and just... Mullingar. Well, I think Mullingar yeah. was a bit emotional for the Dolans, yeah. you know? Yeah, it must have been. Because the radio footage is the actual footage from uh, the newsreel, you know? From RTE. Yes, that's... Uh, yeah. You obviously got... Yeah, I think they were a wee bit worried that, you know, it, it might upset them a wee bit. But no, they came and they seen it and the whole extended family was there, the ne nieces and the nephews and... And this is this is uh, 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 Phil's agent ringing him now from <laughs> from, from, from LA. Strain away. Strain away. Where are we? Answer it. Answer it. Hello. Answer. This is real. Hello, Trina. Trina. Yeah, yeah. We seven John are gone for a few pints. We'll be back <laughs> later. <laughs> this is this is what it is to do an interview in the Olympia in Dublin with these Come people. Here. The starstruck, and it's Trina McCann that's that's, no, that's no, ringing. No, we'll be, no, we'll be down in a couple of minutes, Trina. Yeah, right? we'll that's that's her that's ringing, you right, see, and we were going to have a word with her, but she's just blown it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Potrina, by now, she will be watching this. And John, this has led to you having your own show Absolutely, in the Olympia. Yeah. Tell us about it. I'm doing a couple of shows uh, on the back of uh, playing Joe Dolan. Uh, MCD got in touch and asked about doing a couple of solo shows. So I'm here on the 1st of November, back in Thursday night. I'm doing one in Mullingar on the 20th of October. And will it be Joe Dolan songs and...? Uh, there'll be a few Joe Dolan songs, yeah. Then there'll be a little bit of jazz and a little bit of swing and a little bit of rock and roll, a few me own. Brilliant, brilliant. Bit and give us them dates, John, again. The October 20th is Mullingar and the 1st of November. There. <gasps> Here, <laughs> not, we can have a look at the stage now. If you we're running a bus from... Uh, from Bally Connell and Bill Torbett. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're yeah. going to run a bus up. Yes. Yeah. 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 And Calvin Town, if anybody wants yes. to come. Yes, so anybody that's... Where, where yeah. can we contact them, Phil? Uh, contact me and Bill Torbett in the post office and right. put their names down. So they are, uh, anyone in Calvin, right. Bally Connell and Bill Torbett especially, Calvin Town, of course, if you're watching, contact Phil in the post office there in Bill Torbett and you get full detail. We'll put full details on the Facebook page as well. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll get a crowd up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice crowd. So we, we, we'll be letting everybody know. And now, John, give us a song, would you? Will just yeah. to, um, just to, to get I things. Play one of my own. Play, yeah, great stuff. Right. We're tight for time. Yeah. yeah. The um, boys are waiting to go. I thought they were going for something to eat, but they're going for something to drink. Um, <laughs> I know we are going for something to eat. <laughs> I want to dedicate it to a very special man uh, uh, from, 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 from Calvin Town. Um, it's been a huge influence on my career, and uh, only for him I, I wouldn't be where I am today. Dara Slack, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right, man. <laughs> I'm Paul, of course. <laughs> The Olympia is the 1st of November uh, at 8 pm sharp, and uh, Mullingar is October the 20th, which is a Saturday night. Um, so, hope to see you all there. Phil will be there. 
and a bus maybe on his own on the bus yeah. but he'll be there <laughs> <laughs> and we will we will be giving you full details on the on the bus, and so watch out for Facebook and stuff like that. We'll be letting you know all details about how to get a bus from Ballycolin, Toby Cavan, all the way up to the Olympia in Dublin. Well, one of our own, John O'Grady, is putting on his solo show. Lads, thanks very much. Um, we'll talk to you again real oh, soon. Oh, don't forget to mention about uh, your own gig in uh, the Imperial on Sunday evenings. Yeah, it's Sunday evenings. Uh, who's there? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. We can't say. We can't say a specific day. Who? Who knows who's going to be there? Who knows? Different people every week. John. Jazz with Paul Cox. So hey, hey, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main entrance. This is where you come in. The front doors. That's down to the auditorium as well. There's big posters. Um, and this is backstage then. Come on, come on in to show you his backstage. Paul always wanted to walk through a door and mark private. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the staff's room. So do you want to have a quick look on the stage before we go up? Stage at the Olympia. Here we are, behind the stage. This is where we wait to go on. Um, sets just over here. All the lighting rigs and all that crack is there. Come on out here, let me show you. So this is what we get to see when we're on the stage performing. Don't mind the mics are setting up for something else. It's the set for the Joe show, and then, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty spectacular view when you're looking out. It's quite daunting. And like you say, John, so many big names from Georgian times right up to Absolutely, modern. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's the oldest. I think I think it is anyway. The oldest theatre in Dublin, 1790 something or something like that. And they're all all the stuff is original. All the walls and all the finish, the cornice and all that. It's all original. And when you're sitting, uh, I came to see a few shows recently, and when you're sitting in the seats, like, there's a real authentic feel when you're sitting in the seats. Seats are they're kind of a little bit cramped, you know what I mean? And you get the feeling, you get, there's good atmosphere out there. And then the woman, the woman that owns, there's two bars, there's one here. But the one here, on the right, yeah. Eileen's bar, the woman that owns that is hilarious. She's, she's, she's an old dear. And everybody loves her. She's in her 80s and she's a real, real character. It'd be great if you could get a piece with her if you were about tonight. But she comes in and she's been here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many Since years. Since 17, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> 17, 10, 10 past 5. Maybe, maybe, maybe not that long. But, uh, yeah, it's a good old buzz now. Well, John, you must be really proud of yourself because I know everybody in Cabin is really proud that you performing your solo show here and this is uh, yeah. really is it's, it's it's good too like you know I think a big thanks has to go to the, the other people that are in the cast of the Joe show you know because I wouldn't be here without them you know what I mean it's as much their gig as it is mine you know so they'll all be there and they'll all get to witness they might even get up and sing an old song Paul you wouldn't know you never know, there's a drummer in the audience, he can get up as well. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. <laughs> let's, let's make a little film in action now. This is the, the film. Phil, did, did, you, did you ever think that you'd be on a stage in the Olympia doing a play? Um, no, I didn't think about it much, yeah. no, was it? It's, good. it's cool, isn't it's good it? practice as a bar, when you see. Grew up in a bar, can't dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not acting at all, it's real. <laughs> this is it. But I fully get it out. Good bar. This was the set for uh, conversations on the homecoming and then the, the rejigged it a wee bit and put it on and this is this is our set. Fantastic. And you, you grew up in a bar, Phil Cook. Grew up in a bar in Calvin Town, the Melvin Bar Bridge Street. No, it's gone you now. Played in it. Did you, yeah, yeah. Nice What's there now? It was a great pub. Uh, I think it's uh, it's I don't know, household shop or something. Do you know what it is, yeah. honestly, this is no joke. It's an American guy, isn't it? An Amish shop. Amish shop, yeah. that's right. An Amish shop? Yeah, yeah. Amish, yeah. yeah. What's it they sell? Maybe it's Seamus that's worked there. I don't know, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no, it is no it <laughs> Amish or rogue. <laughs> 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 no, I've been in it, yeah. It's some some good stuff in it, yeah. Really nice fellow that runs it. Melvin was a good pub. Melvin was a great stuff. pub. I remember Melvin was a serious pub. It's a great pub. I remember talking to a girl there one night and I said to her, What are you having to drink? She says, I guess I'll have a brandy. I said, Guess again. <laughs> <laughs>
Cool, do you want to take a quick run upstairs yeah, and have on, a look? Cool. We'll Backstage. Cool. This is a, a exclusive tour of the I think they're, they're, mad, they're mad to do a little bit on this right. stage, so we'll get out of their way. This is the backstage man. Oh, Give it, say hello to the camera, say hello. <laughs> oh, my moment has come. Only for him, only for him. This is Faker, is it? What? What's your name? I'm John. I'm John. John. Come on, I'm John. looking after you all. John looks yeah. after us all. Come on ahead, Paul, watch your step. So this is up to the dressing rooms. So this is where everybody togs out. Upstairs. Blow up more pictures and stuff on the wall. Mrs. Brown. R.E.M. Uh, great one of Johnny Cash here. Really good one. Really cool one. One of my favourite ones, Robbie Williams. Ah, uh -huh. one for you, Paul. Morrissey. Class. Go on to Morrissey. Yeah. Jacks. We don't really want to see the Jacks. Lou Reed. Don't fall over that late. <laughs> this is the dressing rooms. It's the women's dressing rooms. Not too fancy, kind of authentic. Not too fancy, just just nice and simple. All you need. Now the kettle. Lock of mugs. <laughs> Are you sure you're from here? <laughs> dressing room number two. This is the guys' room. Fantastic. Oh, the boys get a couch. And a television. That doesn't work. And a telly. And the sandwiches. Oh, the sandwiches. Sandwich drops. Sandwich. Yeah, but they come up from home. The roast beef sandwich. <laughs> Some <laughs> farmer was sitting over that roast beef in Virginia there at the weekend. Three weeks ago. Didn't finish it. Really? It ended up in a sandwich in the Olympia Theatre in Dublin. Go on, the sandwich. Brilliant. About five weeks ago, that poor sandwich was walking around the field somewhere in Corda. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all. There's more dressing rooms and stuff upstairs. Fantastic. Another great picture there. Go in and have a wee look at that one. James Brown. The legend himself. Bono. Oh, should we skip that one? <laughs> <laughs> Bowie again. David Bowie Olympia. again, yeah. Barry Mullen and Jerry. Jerry it must, that must have been some kind of a tribute to Jerry Johnny Cash yeah. thing, kind of. There's a good few on the walls of him with other artists, kind of. This is where the diehards hang out. This is uh, Liam Daly's dressing room. Liam plays PJ in the show, and uh, in his room of his own. Yeah, he kind of, we kind of, when he's getting changed, everybody else has to leave the room. You know yeah. what I mean? He likes his great actor, big, great, actor well. great actor, but uh, super actor. He's doing one at the minute actually. He needs a big room he for big his room, big, yeah. big ego. Big ego. Yeah, he's kind of, you know, that saying, you know, the stars are difficult to deal with. Liam's prime example. <laughs> Prime example. Well, he's, he's doing it. it. He's good. Yeah, he is. Good. He's he's worth it. He's yeah. the best. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah he so does. Like, like he does that. a great version of the national anthem he's in the play. He's, he's, he's always like that, that hairspray for women. Because I'm worth it. Yeah. Whatever it's called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well or something. Yeah, well, well, well. But he's doing a play at the minute as well. Um, Liam. He's on on the 14th and 15th of November, I think, in Virginia. It's either the 14th and 15th or 15th and 16th. It's called Trad. Him and Dara Smith and uh, the well, one. Dara, another big ego. Yeah, another yeah, big and know, yeah. big hair, big ego. He, 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 you wouldn't, know. Do, he wouldn't do the. I tried to get an interview with him. He said no. Wouldn't do it. Nah, no. Nah. Nah. Wouldn't wouldn't he's, pay him. He said no. He said McDonald's is waiting for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so he's gone to McDonald's. <laughs> Brilliant. Cool. So. Uh, that's it, that's the Olympia. Done and dusted. That is the Olympia. Uh, Adele, there's an Adele poster there, she played here last year. Yeah, last year. Didn't get a That's um, the woman I was telling you about Eileen. in the bar, Eileen. Eileen. Legend. Absolute right. legend. You're leaning on that all wrong. You know, you're <laughs> Paul, it's been a pleasure.